everyone, this is Patricia. So by the time that I'm posting this video, it's Thanksgiving Day, and I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And to those who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I want to wish you a happy holiday. So as you can see from this corner, I got a few packages in the mail that I've been waiting to open for quite a while, but I just had to wait for one package to come in, which uh, just so happened to have been as of the recording of this uh, video just yesterday. So uh, let's get started. So for those who follow me on social media, I've actually had this particular package for quite a while and uh, now I can finally open it to see uh, what has been in here all this time. So here we go. Ah yes, <laughs> it is the first of many Nickelodeon stuff. It is the Happy Happy Joy Joy the Ren and Stimpy documentary. So as you guys know, a few years ago, I had actually interviewed the guys who were behind this documentary, and that would be Ron Cicero and Kimo Easterwood. Uh, click right up here on the annotation for you to check out the interview that I had with them a few years ago, when they were just first starting their Kickstarter campaign. And uh, since then, they had raised over $100,000 and have been able to finally put the, the, the product together. I haven't had the chance to see it, but when I do, I will definitely give a review on this. And uh, this was a big deal, if you could imagine. I mean, like, you have uh, not only the people who had worked on Ren and Stimpy, but as well as Ren and Stimpy fans, and they were going to do this huge documentary to um, celebrate Ren and Stimpy. And then, of course, the uh, infamous allegations of John Kay came out, and so they had to um, basically film some additional scenes featuring the people who were heavily involved with the allegations, so they definitely had to change some things around. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this documentary, but I'm definitely going to take a look into it myself and give my own thoughts on it. In addition to that, I also got this from the uh, Ren and Stimpy documentary, and it is a booklet. So not only did I get the DVD, but I also got the booklet, and I got my name of the credits, and a CD, which will be coming up pretty shortly. So the booklet contains a lot of tiny little pictures, some storyboards, some uh, concept art, and various amounts of other things. It's just a slight taste of what would be in the Ren and Stimpy hardcover book but I didn't have the money at the time to purchase it, so I thought that the little booklet would do just fine. And the booklet is actually pretty neat. Uh, it actually does feature some really cool drawings and some notes from behind the scenes stuff of the show, which is always a really nice treat to see. So yeah, that was actually pretty cool and I cannot wait for the CD to come out. All right, so let's take a look at the next package that we have here. Ah, yes, and this is my second DVD. This is The Orange Years, The Nickelodeon Story. As you guys know, I actually did do an unboxing related to The Orange Years, and that is that poster right back there that you can see. If you are interested, click on the annotation on top so you can take a look of me unboxing the poster and see what kind of details it has. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I've been uh, waiting for this for quite a while. Um, I, I didn't actually get the DVD. I actually purchased it myself. Uh, you see, as you guys know, uh, one of the things that they did offer in the Kickstarter was uh, that if you donated a certain amount of money, you get to either have your name in the credits or you get to get the poster. And I got the poster, but I decided to throw in a few extra dollars and I decided to purchase this right off of Amazon. So yeah, I am definitely going to be talking about this DVD as well and I uh, will be giving a video of that shortly. Um, after I do the Ren and Stimpy uh, documentary video, which of course that came out first, and I want to give my full attention on that because I feel that that needs a lot of covering. And so finally, I'm going to open up this monstrosity. This is one that I have been really looking forward to. It's, it's one that the moment that I knew that it was going to be coming out, I had to get it. So here we go. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this. This is the Polaris vinyl record. <laughs> Not only that, but this is a special edition Polaris record. As you can see right here, I'm just going to put this a little closer. That is the signature of uh, Mike Mulkey, aka Muggy Polaris from The Adventures of Pete and Pete. And yeah, not only does it have uh, the classic songs that you would know from Pete and Pete, such as Hey Sandy, and uh, She Might Be Staggering, and Summer Baby, and Waiting for October, and various other songs, but it has these really cool pictures as well of uh, not only the band, but also of the uh, pictures from the cast of Pete and Pete. And uh, in addition to that, you get to even see the lyrics in the back. And you even get to know some behind the scenes stories about how they were able to put together the song as well as this vinyl record. And finally, for the first time ever, people have been waiting for the longest time on what was the lyrics behind Hey Sandy. You remember about like, can you judge me uh, in the song? So now we can be able to find out what it is. Let's see what it is. They're so clever. I guess the world will never know. So now you're probably wondering, what did the vinyl look like? Well, let's see what it looks like. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> it, it definitely looks like a uh, transparent, smoky look. I think it looks pretty neat. It, it almost looks akin to like if they were like to take a clear CD and then just maybe put it over an open flame. That would be so akin to Polaris, that's for sure. But yeah, um, I do have a vinyl record player and I'm definitely gonna uh, play this off as soon as I'm done with this recording. In addition to the vinyl record, I also have, uh, let's just pull it out, this. This is the same soundtrack of Polaris, except that it's in CD form. So, yeah. So, uh, I definitely have a CD player right over there, and uh, when I get a chance, I'll be listening to that as well. And that's it, everyone. I hope that you enjoy this unboxing video. I hope that you guys have some really cool stuff coming for the holidays, even though that I know that 2020 has been pretty rough in terms of being together with family and uh, being able to celebrate the holidays like you would traditionally. But nonetheless, I do hope that you have yourself a safe and happy holidays. So take care, everyone.